Bill Cross released a film, it's called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, that documents his journey to regain his health. It's amazing. Take a look. 20 years ago, this is what I saw when I looked in the mirror. Looking good. Well, the years rolled by, and I kept seeing that same fit-looking bloke looking back at me. Who was I kidding? I didn't look like that anymore. I look like I've swallowed a sheep. All right, Joe, come on over and step on the scale over here. Fat. We could be brothers here, right? Here, look. I mean, it's, it's, it's sitting here. Sick. The kids of today are not expected to live as long as their parents. This is really serious. And nearly dead. Joe Cross, everyone. You know what? I watched the documentary, and it is just... It's so inspiring. Even if you are someone and you feel that you are a healthy person, this is going to take you to the next level because you're going to understand um, on a very real scale why you need your fruits and veggies. We hear it all the time. Yeah. But you really show us the difference between the, the American diet, because yeah. you went across the United States, um, what they are eating and what we should be eating. So the American diet is, is mostly what? It's made up of 61% processed food, about 33% animal product, and just 6% fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, seeds, and whole grains. Like right. the real food, food made by Mother Nature. Right. Why do you need that food? Which sounds like such an elementary question, but w what did it do for you? Well, when you look at this food, when I see this cucumber, what I see is harnessed energy from the sun. It's actually sunlight that's been captured. And what we need for our cells to function properly, to actually do what they're supposed to do, is we need to get all the colors of the fruit and vegetable rainbow, our purples, our reds, our greens, our yellows, and our oranges. We need to put that in, because really when you eat, Tracy, you're actually cells are what's craving food. They want the fuel. So when we don't put the right fuel in, we're actually tricking our body which is why when you eat a diet, like I was the ringleader, I was like the cheerleader of it all. Yeah. When you eat a diet high in processed food, you're effectively tricking your body into thinking it's full for an hour or two because your stomach's full. Yeah. But then a couple of hours later, as we all know, you're hungry again because your cells were not fed. Okay. Now, you juiced, so just vegetables and fruit, for 60 yeah, days. That's right. So a lot of people hear that and they say that's crazy. That's it's right. It's way too extreme. A lot of people You're think not that. necessarily saying that people need to do a 60 day juice fast. No. But for you, you had an autoimmune disorder disease and mm -hmm. it's gone now. Correct. So you cured yourself with I the did. vegetables. Well, you I allowed my body to cure itself is the way I think about it. Right. Instead of using medication to treat my condition, yeah. I used nutrition to do it. Right. So, so the difference here is that when you blend, and a lot of people have these blenders at home, you're actually outsourcing the chewing to a machine. Think about it that way, because you're just taking the whole produce and you're blending it up. Mm -hmm. I love blending, it's great for you, I do a lot of that all the time. Yeah. But what I needed to do was to supercharge my micronutrient intake. I wanted to get all of that captured sunlight into my body and as much of it as I could. Right. And the best way to do that is to juice, because via juicing, we can actually take all of this produce and you get a picture like that. Yeah. Now you and I couldn't eat all of that, but I tell you what, over an hour we could drink that very easily. So is that all of that? That's about, what we've got here is about three cucumbers, that's yeah. all of that celery there, it's four apples, it's a whole lemon, and it's a thumb of ginger, like that. And, wow. and, and a whole bunch of kale that we've got here. Kale yeah. being a great superfood, I mean fabulous. The, the nutrient density in kale, knock yeah. your socks off. Now people are probably thinking, okay, you're only drinking juice, you're doing this for 60 days, your energy must have been just down the toilet. Absolutely, couldn't have been more different. So, but were you working out during this time? Well, I was making a movie, and as you know, when you're in yeah. the media business, you're actually with cameras, crews, you're walking. I mean, I was doing a lot of exercise. I mean, yeah. I, think, I think the thing is, Tracy, what I'd love people at home to think about this, is that why do we have this ability to put on all this weight? Okay, the reason is with our bodies are holding on to stored energy thinking there's a famine coming because we come from a long history of feast and famine. Yeah. So I would love people to, instead of think about, oh my God, I'm so fat, think about, oh my God, I've got so much energy on my body and my body is waiting to use it up. So right. you've got two options. You can go run a marathon every day and use it up yeah. or you can put what your body wants and needs and, and desires into the system to satiate you and yeah. use up that stored energy on your body. So in the 60 days, I lost 82 pounds, yeah. but 70% of that was fat and 30% was muscle. Because it's not like a diet where, and I don't look at it as a diet, I don't use that word. Your diet is what you're gonna eat for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay. But during that time, 70% fat, 30% muscle, and women it's usually about 60% 
fat, 40% muscle. And what I've done now through a healthy, balanced diet is rebuild that muscle up. Put the muscle back on because you definitely want that muscle. Absolutely. Critical. So day three of the, uh, of the whole experience. Oh. You're, you're not feeling good. I felt like because, a truck had run over me. Yeah, but part of the reason why is because people are eating around you. Yeah. So there's a big social tie to eating. People eat around you, you yep. smell the barbecue, uh, your families get together and it's all based on food. Before we actually make a shake, I want to tell, I want you to tell everyone psychologically how you get past that. So the, 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 the way I, I was thinking about it was that I was taking medication night and day. This was my last throw of the dice. I mm -hmm. figured that I had turned my back on mother nature. I wanted to run towards it and see whether she would open her arms up and cure me. Mm -hmm. So anybody who's just doing this for weight loss is most likely gonna fail because the power of wanting to eat is way more than actually losing those pounds. Right. But if you're wanting to do this to live a happier, healthier, longer life, I mean, if you want to stick around more for your kids, for your grandkids, you want to have the energy you had when you were 20, when you're 60, you need to push through those first three days. Right. Now, that pain that you go through is the withdrawal from caffeine, sugar, nicotine, alcohol, sugar, fat, salt. They, they, those are major receptors are hitting in our brain that make us want to eat more of that. Yeah. But after three days, I can tell you this, and if someone had told me this before, I wouldn't have believed them, but your taste buds will reboot. Yeah. This is a great way to fall back in love with fruit and vegetables. Okay, can you show us how easy sure. it is? So this is not a blender, this is a juicer. Yeah. I'm just going to show you when we take our cucumber and we put it through, think about this being your body. Now it's in your mouth. Here's that was your stomach. fast. That's fast. <laughs> this, is your, this is your stomach. Yeah. Right? What's going here to your bowel is the, is the fiber, and we can do lots of stuff with that in cooking later. Yes. But here is the liquid sunshine. This is what actually gets, goes through the membrane of your stomach and into your blood supply. Right. So think about when you eat cucumber or when you drink cucumber juice, that is what's going to your three trillion cells that make up the beautiful you. And it's getting in there quickly, so you're getting a fast energy source. How many juices are well, you drinking a day when you were doing this? When I was doing I was having about, in terms of a pitcher like that, I was having about three liters of juice. That's like six huge bottles of, of juice. Yeah, and that's a, a and, lot. And, and a couple of liters of water. Okay. But if you look at the consistency of that, Right, mm -hmm. see, see that, Tracy? That's like water. Yeah. I want you to take that. Are you guys grossed out? I'm going to drink it. I'm going to show you. It's not gross. And it's not gross, is it? Because it's like, no, 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 it's great. Because it's like water, it's rapid good. absorption. It's the apple that makes it nice and sweet. Apple's good. I would say always add apple to your um, to your juices.